What is cyberbullying and how to protect yourself against it? The advancement of technology comes with some disadvantages and one of them is cyberbullying. Today, cyberbullying is still among the most hotly debated topic around the world. However, it is undeniable that everyone's effort is needed to stop it. But how? Educating ourselves on cyberbullying is a step closer to taking action against it. So, in this video, we will talk about what is cyberbullying and how should we protect ourselves against it. Welcome to Stop Bullying Now series. This is the Lifehack Lion, the channel that gives you amazing life hacks and interesting facts. Cyberbullying is using technology to bully or hurt someone else, and it can hurt just as much as physical or verbal bullying. In a cyberbullying attack, the aggressor seeks to damage the reputation and social standing of the victim in the community at large. They are known to hide behind screens of anonymity on social media platforms, so it can be hard to fight back and expose them. In some cases, cyberbullies create multiple personas. They will post defamatory or harassing messages to social media and then follow up by posting comments using another account. This can give the appearance of an internet mob attacking the victim when the truth is, everything is coming from the same cyberbully. Cyberbullying causes significant emotional and psychological distress. Just like any other victim of bullying, cyberbullied individual experiences anxiety, fear, depression, and low self-esteem. They also may experience physical symptoms and may struggle academically. However, targets of cyberbullying also experience some unique consequences and negative feelings. For one, when they feel like the entire world knows what is going on, the stress of dealing with it could make them feel overwhelmed. Victims often also find it difficult to feel safe as they feel vulnerable and powerless. Since the bullying occurs in cyberspace, the victim can feel exposed and humiliated. These and other devastating effects of cyberbullying call the need for us to protect ourselves against it. Here are 10 tips to protect yourself from cyberbullying. Number 10. Set healthy tech boundaries now. You should place appropriate restrictions and permission on technology use. Setting reasonable limits early can prevent you from becoming too attached to computers and phones later on. It can also encourage you to develop a healthy sense of self apart from your digital identity. This will make it easier for you to disengage from risky or hurtful online communication. Also, be aware of how much time you are spending online. If you notice that you seem increasingly or emotionally preoccupied with your phone or computer, take it as a warning sign. Number 9. Keep personal information private Limit the personal information you provide on your various social media accounts. Then, check your privacy settings and make sure it is as tight as possible. Think about who sees what you post online. Would you allow strangers to see your posts? How about your friends? Or friends of friends? Also, do not share your password with other people. Anyone that seems like a friend could give your password away or use it to hack you and get your personal information. Number 8. Think about what you post. Cyberbullies often use pictures, status updates, and personal information they find online to harass their targets. It's fine to share information about yourself online, but never reveal something you don't want the whole world to know. If you want to have a serious personal conversation with a friend, do so in person or through personal messages. But never do it over tweets, Facebook posts, or Instagram comments because you never know what someone will forward. Being kind to others online will also help to keep you safe, so it's best to not share anything that could hurt or embarrass anyone. Number 7. Don't participate in cyberbullying behavior. Sometimes when you're feeling picked on, it's tempting to channel those negative feelings into bullying activities to give yourself a sense of power. But even if you are the one doing it, cyberbullying is still wrong. Your behavior can influence other people's actions, so make it clear that you don't stand for cyberbullying by setting a good example for others. If your friends start teasing someone online, don't participate. 
Instead, ask them to stop and let them know that cyberbullying has the same dangerous consequences as in-person bullying does. Number 6. Watch out for signs of cyberbullying. Whether you are concerned that you may be getting bullied yourself or you are a parent concerned that your child is being bullied, watching out for a few indicative signs is a good way to protect yourself or your loved ones against cyberbullying. Cyberbullying often takes the form of one person harassing another through emails or instant messages by sending hateful or threatening messages, embarrassing images or videos, and lines about the person to make them look bad. Another form of cyberbullying occurs when the bully harasses a target by way of public embarrassment rather than directly contacting the victim. Cyberbullies may use public tactics like spreading rumors and gossip using social media. Lastly, a less obvious but equally harmful form of cyberbullying takes place when the bully attacks someone by impersonating them as a way to bring about humiliation or punishments. In some cases, the bully may create a screen name, nearly identical to the screen name used by someone else, then use that name to create embarrassing or threatening situations for them. Number 5. Take Action Since some bullies start as a friend or someone else you know well, you can ask the bully to stop their behavior. If possible, try to have a reasonable discussion with the cyber bully in person and not through email or text. Be clear and direct. Say something like, I saw the things you said about me on Facebook. That's inappropriate and it hurt my feelings. I'd like you to stop saying those things about me. If you don't know who the bully is or if you're being bullied by a group of people, attempting to talk it out probably won't work. Number 4. Don't respond Individuals who hide behind anonymous online identities to humiliate other people feel empowered. It makes them feel in control, especially if they can provoke you to retaliate. However, your first line of defense is to avoid engaging in any conversation or activity that could make matters possibly worse. In other words, deprive the cyber bully of his first and most important desire by ignoring him. The deadliest reaction to the cyber bully is to be ignored and go unnoticed. Number 3. Block the cyber bully on all online platforms. The great thing about today's technology is that electronics have configuration settings that allow you to block other users. By blocking the bully, he cannot reach out to you and send you negative messages directly. Blocking someone is usually straightforward, and most social media platforms have made it relatively easy. Take advantage of social media sites' privacy settings to make sure the bully can't get engaged with you online anymore. Delete the person from your email contacts and social networks. Don't forget to also block the person from texting your phone. Number 2. Save the evidence of cyberbullying If you are the target of a cyberbully attack, save all communication from the cyberbully. Screenshot or save every email, text, instant message, social media post, and any other evidence of cyberbullying that you come across. Record the time and date that each message was sent. Having as much information as possible about the bully's behavior will help you determine how to stop it. You can also show this evidence to an authority figure to prove that you're being bullied. And last but not least, number one, report the cyber bully. You are never alone in this battle, and there are people out there who want to help you. Here, you can report the bully to your service providers and social media sites and the law enforcement agency. Cyberbullying usually violates the terms of service laid out by social media sites and other service providers. Read up on your provider's policies and take steps to report threatening behavior. The provider may decide to penalize the bully or delete their account as a result of your report. Cyber bullies often mount a related kind of attack when they anonymously contact your friends, professors, or other third parties. You can, however, get out ahead of such nasty campaigns of character assassination. Contact your trustworthy friends, family, or professors and tell them what is going on. In some cases, cyberbullying may be classified as a crime, 
which places it beyond the jurisdiction of schools and service providers. If cyberbullying involves threats of violence or death, sexually explicit photos or descriptions of sex acts, secretly recorded photos or videos, and hateful texts or online messages that single out and harass the victim based on race, gender, or religion, immediately call your local police department or report to the officer stationed at your school. Do you know some other ways to protect oneself against cyberbullying? Share it with us in the comment section below. If you find this video interesting, we'd love you to support us for more life hacks and interesting facts.